Welcome to the Flag Project. I don't know why, but it just felt right to put on my Hawaiian shirt, my touristy shirt, and my crazy hat. I'm not sure. And to be out by the pool. What a beautiful day in Las Vegas. Flags have always been one of my favorite things. Uh, I just like the, the, the look of them. I like the, what they represent. I like the symbols in them, the colors, the brightness. I like it all. So there had to be a flag project when we got to Symmetry. I want to show you a few that I was able to find quickly today. Uh, I don't really collect them, but I've got a bunch. I guess as I go places, I, I try and find a few that I like. Most of these are from a place I lived for a period of time uh, in eastern Canada. And uh, these are not country flags, but they are Providence flags. Most of them are. The first one is from Prince Edward Island. And it has a lion on it. It has the island on it. It has some trees and things. Um, there's no rotational or reflectional symmetry in this, but lots of very cool symbols and things that mean things. Usually the lion means royalty, um, Prince Edward Island, right? All right, um, the next one. This is New, uh, New Brunswick, also a province in Canada. You see the lion there again. And in this case, you get a boat. I don't know what these things represent. Again, the lion is usually royalty, but no symmetry here, nothing. Um, we're gonna jump to a whole new continent, new country. Uh, this is Cape Verde, Africa. My son just came back from there, did a cool project and uh, did a cool um, humanitarian project there. It was very cool. Anyways, um, this is Cape Verde. And it sure looks good, doesn't it? You see that nice red line? That red line almost is a line of symmetry, except look closely now. Do you notice that part of it, maybe let me back up. Part of it is the blue part is too big on the top and not the bottom. It's not exactly down the middle. Why didn't they do that? That would have been so good. So no symmetry there either. Ah, uh, we're getting closer to symmetry. Here's Nova Scotia, back to back to Canada. Beautiful big X. Uh, you see a horizontal and a vertical line of symmetry, but that darn lion. Why did they put the lion there? It could have been so symmetrical, but it's not. So nothing there either. Now, just quickly before I do the last one, Newfoundland, I want to just talk to you about rotational symmetry. If you turn the flag 360 degrees and you don't see it the way it started, it has rotational symmetry of one because it went one time around. Usually we think that should be zero because it has no rotational symmetry. If you turn the flag 180 degrees though and you go, whoa, there it is, the one I started with, that has rotational symmetry of two because 180 and then back to 360. Well, the last one doesn't have rotational symmetry, but finally we found a little bit of uh, line symmetry. Here it is, Newfoundland. You can see uh, right down the horizontal, right down the middle, you divide that beautifully into two equal pieces. The top would fold to the bottom and we would have symmetry finally. Enjoy this project. Make your own flag. Get on the web. Find out things about flags. I think I like flags because it makes me think about traveling, and I like to travel. Have fun. So let me just take a look uh, at the flag project quickly for you. Again, what you're doing here is you're finding flags or uh, from the web uh, that have line symmetries of 0, 1, 2, and 2. Um, again, most flags are rectangular, that's why we can't kind of exceed the two lines of symmetry. So you're to kind of draw it in there, put the country, and then also look at rotational symmetry of 2, 2, uh, and then 2 and 2, and 2 and 2, some fun ones in there. And then I give you a couple uh, that I want you to look at and evaluate what you think the symmetry and also the rotational order is. And um, again, be careful with color. Even though, like the flag is split into two equal parts, um, color matters. All right, so yellow onto blue doesn't quite work, and so on. So let me just take you to a couple of uh, nice uh, websites. The first one is the one that's got the link on the website or on the project itself. 
and uh, it's science kids and man it's got some great stuff here <clears throat> i like the format of this just because they're all right there visual for you let's take a look at one i don't know let's look at uh, this one um let's see does it pop it up yeah it does <clears throat> so here it comes I picked this one because I think it's going to have a uh, horizontal line symmetry. Yeah, it does. It's a gorgeous flag. So a horizontal line, one horizontal line, no rotational symmetry, or another, in other words, rotational symmetry of one. Guyana is where that one's from. So <clears throat> this particular website is the best of the group that I'm going to kind of show you, uh, just for purely finding the flags and all kinds of flags. I just did Googled flags of the world and found some other cool sites. Here's the Central in Intelligence Agency. Uh, this one, again, this is why I like flags, not just for the symmetry, but I like, uh, you know, you can say, whoa, let's see here. Here's a cool one here. Uh, I'm not even sure how to say that, so I'm not going to, but you can click on the flag. And there it is. I think we got some symmetry in this one. This is a very cool one. It talks about the flag, its description. Um, if you click on the other button, it tells you about the country. Uh, whoops, I went too far back, I guess. So let me keep going. Um, here is another flag site. Uh, just got lots of flags, maybe not as uh, appealing, but easy to find things. Uh, and then here's the last one. This one's kind of cool. This one has um, <clears throat> the flags... Uh, by their country or by their continent. So if you pick on Asia, for instance, it will zoom in on uh, Asia. Let's see, it's loading, I believe. And then um, the sub flags there and so on. So here is uh, Asia and area and their flags and you can click on it and so on. Uh, here's Indonesian area. I don't know, let's hit the Philippines and end it there. Let's see what we got here in the Philippines. And um, at first glance, well, it looks like it has horizontal symmetry, but the colors certainly don't match from top to bottom, so not quite. But anyways, a great uh, little investigation. There's some good questions to look up about different types of flags and history of flags and so on. So enjoy the project.